Hey everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance, checking out our drought plot. So this is one of our 117 day hybrids, uh, 1742, looking pretty good here. I broke the year in half so we can kind of look a little deeper here. The important thing is here, we've entered the dent stage. So that R5 stage, you see that dent in the cap. Um, so we're, we're not across the finish line just yet, but we're getting closer there. So let me get this in focus here. You can see right here on this edge, that kind of darker yellow starch. That is actually the milk line moving down. So we go from hard starch on the, on the outside of the cap to still that kind of dough on the inside. This is the R5 stage, that milk line moving from the top of the kernel all the way down to the base. That process takes roughly three weeks to complete. And during that time, we add about 40% of the total weight to that kernel during the R5 stage. So when we start off, we're still probably 40 plus percent moisture. At the end, when, the, when we get down to the bottom there and you see that black line, that black layer, that means about 30% moisture corn. So I would estimate this is probably about 10% of the way down right now, looking at how much hard starch is here on the top versus uh, all the way around there. So that, that's a good sign here, but important thing, today is August 6th. With the milk line being 10% of the way down, it's entirely possible that by August 21st, 22nd, this corn could be black layer. Now the cool weather in the forecast might slow that down, which would be a good thing. More sunlight, fewer days of heat, so we would fill kernels longer, add to test weight, add to kernel depth more. So that's a good thing. But I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you've got some late April, even first of May planted corn, you might have corn that's at 30% black layer, maybe even approaching the first of September. So if you've not made your harvest plans yet, Got the combine out, starting to get those things in mind. This is your warning to start thinking about those things now because we might have corn ready to harvest before you're ready for it.